Welcome back to the BST Podcast. Uh, we're here at El Paso County Raceway at Mike Hathaway's trade show again. And we actually have Lonnie Cox, one of our sprint car drivers, with us. And we were just talking about the new ASCS sprint car division. But, Lonnie, you've been racing since we stopped, right? You, you've been down in Arizona racing, so you really never stopped, correct? Correct. Our season hasn't stopped. We basically left here in, what was it, September? October. October. Yeah. Yep. And went straight down to the Copper Classic in Arizona and started racing down there and basically haven't stopped. So how much wing compared to non-wing racing are you doing down there? I've uh, been doing more wing down there, uh, but it's basically about 50-50 because yeah. either way, I love wing, non-wing. Either doesn't way, matter. doesn't Just matter to me. As long I love as we're racing, both. right? That's right. So this year... Uh, I know we, we talked about uh, when we had Mike on, we had a little bit of the struggle with the sprint cars, but uh, we're really excited the way this non-wing division is coming around and how many cars are actually being bought and ready to go. We talked about, uh, unfortunately, some of the shows that we had with two and three cars, but uh, at the end of the year, we were 15 to 17 strong. Mike seems to think that we're going to come out of the gate at least with 15 to 20 cars. I agree with that. Uh what I'm hearing is a lot of people are starting to pull their cars out that you forgot about, basically. Yeah. And I hear there's a pretty good points fund going on. Wait, it's up to 7,500. I I, told, I remember we started it at 2,000. Yes. And I thought it was at seven, but I was informed today that there's even 500 more. So it's actually 7,500 right now. And what we talked about is the the point fund is kind of old school, like we used right. to run for back in the day, and, and we're hoping that the point fund continues to keep people coming time after time instead of the hit and miss right. kind of like yourself yeah I i'm mean, a not, kind of a hit and miss because i've got different schedules yeah, going not, on nothing stuff, yes. not, yeah nothing against <laughs> that i mean but you've but kind of been be a hit and miss guy i will be here so so speaking of with that point fund and you see our schedule which i believe is 12 we talked about the the three racetracks two at phillips county i think five at uh i-76 seven here whatever it is or six here whatever it is i think it's 12 12 races are you going to be able to run for the championship and run for that 7,500, you're gonna be able to hit them all, or you're gonna hit and miss again. I'm probably, uh, I hate to say, I'll probably hit and miss because I got a few other big shows that I already committed that to. Con but conflict. You put the money out there, it changes my so mind. So depend. A so a guy <laughs> like you, if you happen to be leading the points or running second or third. It's it, going to change my mind. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Show so, me the money and I'll be there. <laughs> exactly. So so that's that's the whole uh, whole idea with that point fund. I really do think it's going to help. And I hear um, a lot of people talking about the point fund, and I think that's why there's so much interest starting to go. And exactly. I'm hoping for at least 20 cars here real shortly. I, th I think we're going to get it. I, too. I think for the first time in, I don't know, 20 years maybe in Colorado, we're going to see over 20 cars at a, at a local sprint car event. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a hard struggle, but yeah. I think yeah. it's about there you know it's it's kind of repetitive to what we were talking about with mike but uh, i'll get your opinion of it this new wingless kind of craze that's happening i believe has a lot to do with taking the wings off and making the quality of the show better from the big motors to the little motors once you take that wing off you, it really doesn't matter field. if you have a 305 to right. 410 correct Yeah, because last year we won with the 305 that basically it was just stock 305 and I think Zach Taylor had his ASCS 360, 360. there. He finished second. And yep. So it virtually doesn't matter what motor you got, you're still. Now, if able you put that run. wing on then it on that same that race, thing. yes, he he kills you, yes. and, and and you're a back marker. Right, I agree with that. So that's that's <laughs> the difference. Yeah, so I love what you got going. Yeah, because that it's an even playing field. Exactly. Yep. And, and you know, we're actually hoping to see some of the. You know, crate motors, we've heard some people talking about that, the carbureted motors. I mean, because there's people r winning all over the country from a wide variety of carbureted to little motors to stroker motors to motors that people had in a stock car like we have or whatever, sure. decided to go sprint car racing. Now they can. And then, of course, you still got the 305s to 410s injected motors, but the wide variety of motors that are out there and all winning and doing good is what impresses me. Right. And the car that I ran last year here had a carburetor on it. I didn't run an injected motor. So there you go. See, I didn't know that. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. So you won with a carburetor well, motor? Well, Ryan ran our car okay. and won with the injected 305. I got gotcha. you. And I, gotcha. I had the big you, motor with the carburetor. With the carburetor. And so since I didn't know you ran that, could you tell a huge difference or not between the carburetor and injected? No, I couldn't tell no difference. So, and, and especially, 
when we go to Phillips County, it might be a little different. Once again, we were talking about Mike with that, right. obviously the big three eights. But when you're talking Calhan and I-76, uh, the you size of the tracks, the yeah. yeah. You yeah. can't hook up a big motor, basically, so yep. it doesn't really matter. Yep. I was talking to some of those guys, they, they uh, slow down the throttle and stuff on the big ones, and you're still spinning the tires. So back to your um, Cox Racing Enterprise, <laughs> I've seen anything from yourselves to like six cars come out. What, what's it going to be like this year? Uh, it's pretty close to the same thing. we got two 360s, one's a wing car, one's a non-wing car. I got uh, two 305s. How about different drivers? You got other drivers or no? Or just uh, you just running this year? We're kind of cutting back a little bit. Um, Skyler s still runs for us once in a while. And Ryan, he's been running for me a lot. And myself. And then we're slowly wanting to start finding, you know, the younger ones coming out of, like, the mini sprints and stuff like mm -hmm. that and start working them into a 305 and work them into a program. Since you brought that up, we'll go ahead and I can take care of my 600 plug here. So the 600s, as you know, are really big. And I mean, you go back to Oklahoma, and I think there's a million of them. Yes. They, they got more 600 race cars than people in, in Oklahoma. Yes. But it, and but Arizona, it, too. <laughs> and, 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 it, and that's what I was saying. And it's, it's kind of getting, getting big everywhere. So that 600 club that we have, um, it started out, I was actually trying to get the youth in racing going. And next thing you know, uh, the, the restricted class as they had didn't take off and then it became another class of open wheel racing which right. I really wasn't looking forward <laughs> to I, we don't need more divisions but I get it, I like them uh, they put on an excellent show but this year for the first time guaranteed 100% we will have a restricted class so make sure those that kids is good that you know because I just got my grandson he's 10 years old, just got him a restricted 600 yep. he's been running in Arizona yep. And that class down there is huge, and I'd like to and see that same thing yeah, up so here. Yeah, so we're doing it, and we're going to talk to the quarter midget club. Uh, I, I told them for sure, and because, man, I bet you I got 20 calls over the winter Good. about that. And, and the problem was we were racing them together right. because there wasn't enough of them. So, and, and you, that's like bringing a gun to, uh, you know, or bringing a knife to a gunfight. Gun yep. And uh, that was no fun, but it was all we could do last year. But this year, without a shadow of a doubt, we are splitting that division. We will have that restricted class. So, uh, and that's that's what I brought it here for. That's why I started racing them well, is to get that. We're planning on youth. having one car up here for sure awesome. to run that class. Awesome. I'm actually going to put Laney in one. Are you? Yeah. So we, we, we sold the hobby yep. and uh, she's she's wanting to get into the open wheel stuff. That class is, is huge in Arizona so hopefully I, I, think, I can get a few of those guys to come up here because I actually have a, a nine year old that's wanting to drive for us in the 305s yep. and so I'm going to probably end up putting him into a mini sprint also so we have two of those guys. And nice. Nice. Well traveling. that's good. That's good. All right. Well, I want to thank you for coming on. Yep, you betcha. Get ready. Racing's right around the corner. You're going to be at our season opener then, I take it? We're going to try to. Okay. Don't try. Just do it. <laughs> i got a big no, schedule right now. No try. I told them we're going to have to probably redo L our let me tell you how this because point, of this point, this point <laughs> deal. Let me tell you how this works. I promise you, you will have to be at the season opener if you think you have a shot at that uh, I agree, point. I because there's going to be a lot of cars yeah. while I'm here. <laughs> so just get your butt out here on uh, that April show. I'm working on it. <laughs> April 25th, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks. Thank you.